As thousands took to the streets in Niger's capital today, the protests turned violent. Crowds attacking the outside of the French embassy, burning a perimeter door and breaking windows, but not breaching the walls. We were driving through the capital when we saw the protests largely peaceful, with most there to show support for the Nigerian military leaders who have locked up the country's democratically elected president and claimed control. At the same time, leaders from neighboring countries held an emergency summit, demanding the release of the president or else. Such measures may include the use of force. The U.S. government has not officially called this a coup. If they did, they'd have to suspend more than $400 million in aid to Niger, as well as critical military cooperation to battle terror groups in West Africa. Nations around the world have condemned this coup, but as they cut ties with Niger, the concern is this nation could pivot towards Russia for its security assistance. Kate? Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.